Yo, what's up everybody? This is David Brodeur, aka Brilly, and today I've got a really great quick tip for you because this one should hopefully save you a lot of render time. If you've ever been working on a frame or a sequence and you've created an image and you've decided that you would love to see an alternate view. So like maybe for this one, I come in here and I'm like, you know what? I would love to see what this frame would look like. Or maybe a client gives you a, a, a feedback and they're like, I would love to see what this frame would look like without this character here, or without this object, or, you know, maybe a different color for something like this. Well, instead of re-rendering your entire animation or your tire image, you can just simply go into whatever 3D software that you have, jump into Octane, and let's just get this live viewer going here and enable this render region option. And with this render region option, you can just select whatever areas that you want to re-render, right? And so I'm like, hey, you know what? I would actually love to see this frame with this character removed out of here. So I'm just going to disable that character so it's gone from the scene now. And I'll, you know, select a, an area in here and say, yes, we'll just re-render this specific spot. I can hit pause here. Then all you have to do is go into your render settings and go into your Octane render. And in the main section here, you just flip open render region, make sure render region's enabled. And then you can just say, hey, yeah, let's get the last region from the live viewer. Just click that and we'll update it right here. Then after that, you just have to render it out. And while this is rendering out, you can see that there's a black area around it. You don't even have to worry about that because black pixels will account for no additional render time in Octane. So once your render region is finished, we can just hop right into whatever software you're compositing in, import that in. I'm using After Effects here. <clears throat> we'll enable that and you will have to mask around, you know, and outside that rendered area. But really simply, oh, you got to be selected on the layer too. That would help. And really easily, you can, boom, just replace that one section and you are good to go without having to render the whole frame over again.